It's been a year? I'm a Twitch affiliate for a year? Holy shit. Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. Hey, YouTube. Hey, Twitch. What's going on? I'm so excited to finish up Panacone. Panacone. 2.1. I can finally be caught up. I'm trying to get it on my on my thing, but it's being weird. Uh, so bear with me as I delete myself. Not that sounded weird. Uh oh. What just happened? All right, we're good. <clears throat> All right, we are ready. Yay! Remember, no spoilers, no backseating, no nothing. Enjoy yourselves. Hello, Scotland! Hello, Scotland! Let's have a good time today, alright? So, today's plan is to finish Penacotti 2.1. I've been really enjoying this game. Uh, I've been playing quite a bit on my own. Um. <clears throat> Oops. I'm not here. And uh, I apologize for the tardiness I was um, eating. I was feeding myself and I was also taking care of my child. We went for a walk. I'm wearing my Praise the Sun shirt. Because it is 70 degrees. Any interesting trends in video game music? Yes. The trend is... Ooh. The trend is... Uh, movie music. Uh, ambient music has been a huge part of video game music recently. That doesn't seem to be going away. Uh... Sorry about that. <clears throat> I had to hide it. Shut up. I put myself right there. Which Star Wars world has the best soundtrack so far, in my opinion? I'd say Panacani. I'd say the other two have been a little forgettable, if I'm honest with you. I haven't really... Nothing for me has really stood out as stuff that I truly enjoyed. Um, I mean, there were, like, highlights for each. Bellabog was fine. This haven of memories. Penacani, I think, is the, certainly the most... The most... Penacani is, like, the most complete version of Pen of this game, I feel. Like if, like, if I were to tell somebody, I would be like, You should play Honkai Star Rail. Uh, you can really do everything you can to get to Penacani. <clears throat> I also think that, uh, what the fuck? I also think that I definitely wouldn't recommend the game for the music. Like, it's fine. Uh, I've been debating how to create a video around it because, you know, it's been, it's been really fun to play through 2.1, but I feel that the video will be predominantly about like, the experience of playing it, you know what I mean? Um, oof, some of these, this this weekend chat, this weekend I did, uh, what did I do this weekend? Let's see, I, I finished up, I was half asleep, but I finished up the point, oh, you can't see it because my big fat head, hold on. I finished this, right there, right there. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't feel like doing this. And then I did this for a... Hey, Jonah. I did this way longer than I feel I should have. So I stopped at rank four just for the sweet, sweet jade. Uh, this sucked. I hated this. I did not enjoy this whatsoever. 
This, this right here, terrible. I did not enjoy that. Not even a little. Uh, I did not enjoy that. That was incredibly boring. Very annoying. Uh, very, very bad. Really sucky. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Um, <clears throat> really looking forward to this. Really looking forward to this because of this. Me want. Me want this. Me want this. Very excited for this. This, uh, this, this is so easy on the eyes. This is ass. This is absolute ass. I hate this paper. I really want this. This is like goals right here. That's goals. These two, big time goals. This one's nice too. This one's really nice. Really, really, really like this one. This one's definitely peak for me. This is like, but I think th this is really like sublime. This is ass though. I hate this one. So anyway, um, what else was I doing this weekend? I just thought I was just like trying to go through this stuff. There's just so much. Um, and a lot of it just like, I also did the ghost girl, uh, where you have to go back into the dreamscape and you have to do all the, like, find all the treasure pieces and stuff. Um, was also not fun. Um, <laughs> so. This one's all, I mean, yeah, the default wallpaper is really nice, so no complaints there either. Uh, but I would like the clocky, so that's what we're going to do first, of course. We're going to go to my beloved gotcha. How you doing, chat? Happy Tuesday. I hope you've been looking forward to the stream. I certainly have been. Sorry to just shit on the game. Uh, you know. It's healthy to criticize the things that we love. I guess that's why people criticize me so badly on my channel. <laughs> Did I see the eclipse? No, <clears throat> I didn't. I experienced it, but I was in the middle of a podcast. Oh yeah, I forgot about Siobhan. I forgot about the uh, the mini game there, so we'll get to that today too. Please, this is the one. It has to be. So I think this time I'm gonna do it at one at a time because I really enjoyed the feeling of satisfaction. Give me the clocky. Oh, it was so close. Pentecotti's been really fun. Uh, if I definitely like, it's so funny. My fiance was like, why are you playing a game where you're not playing? Cause I like went to the bathroom while I was doing a um, simulated universe. And I was like, don't ask questions that I, don't ask questions that don't, oh, that don't need an explanation. <laughs> I was like, it's just, it's, it's fine. I, I, I like it. You know, but this is not committal. This is non-committal stuff. All right, I'll take that. Pentagon is just really fun. I really, genuinely enjoy it and have enjoyed it very much. Acheron being able to kill like in like s s like yeah swiping swiping non elites has been such an amazing feeling. Um, I cannot go back. Oh come on, please, please, please! Damn it! Another week gone by. <sighs> Alright. Alright, last we left off, Aventurine and Velt were entering in the uh, Dew Light Pavilion, and they were... The model in the sand pit. 
That's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the head and the footprints here are different from the rest. Footprints! And there are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Like, I'll never go back. I can't believe today is one full year on Twitch. It's been quite the journey. I still have a lot more to do on Twitch, I would say. Stream four. But I am forever and always grateful for the YouTube audience, as well as the folks that have hopped over to Twitch, so thank you. I know for a little while I didn't actually stream on Twitch. Lots of indecision there, but well, there aren't any oh! people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Damn, he looks cool. Just in time. Ill fate descends. Another journey begins. Already nine stacks? Oh my goodness. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <clears throat> I can't fully really remember why I had nine stacks already, because I think it started with one. Destined for oblivion. Seven thousand, yeah, that leveling her up was really great. We really that E2 was extremely worth it. Relax. Still waters of oblivion. Oh my goodness, already set. Oh my god. Oh, the trace fall. makes you start with five. That's right. Oof, that's stupid. The fact what? that she's doing 7,000 there. Uh, note. Mm -mm. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other I tasks. I felt like Penacani's story has been actually Robin's like really death. worth engaging into. Of course, I can never stop seeing fucking spoilers online, so... It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. Oh, and her light cone makes the her The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? I think I saw so a giant you're spoiler saying today. Someone deliberately cleared the place out. Which is very annoying. Yeah, but I don't know why. This is turn-based, yeah. And very fun. Oh my god, it's Lord Trashcan. <clears throat> I mean, I re Oh! Stream four. You bastard. What the hell? So that gives a stack of seven. This is gonna be a stack of eight. There's nine. I weep for the depart. I bid you well. In hell. Oh, I was supposed to use a skill. My bad. Eternal. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. Say bye to breathing. <clears throat> My equilibrium level is level three. Level three, four, three. <clears throat> I'm level thirty-eight, I think. Oh no, a forty-six. So the next, the next big jump is fifty, I believe. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too.
<clears throat> as soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that oh my God, it's must Sunday, hold a then. high position Sunday or killed his own sister, strength. or had his own sister killed. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Uh, I usually play with a Luocha, but in this particular case, I'm not using it because I want Ron May. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains. Oh man, that's major foreshadowing. Yeah, time has a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Luochua does, Luochua does, Luochua does not suck. The memes keep killing. That's a lot. That's <clears throat> quite a few deaths here. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. The head of the Oak family. To find death. Dominicus's arrival. <clears throat> it seems neither the Dream Master of Henaconi nor this old Odi is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival in the water. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. And one thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. Watch has made autoplay incredible. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists. Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. <clears throat> that's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing oh! on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? 
the Galaxy Ranger. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Mm, okay. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. He's right in front of you, though, so... While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. Oh, he definitely did it. That the traitor will soon pay the price. He brought it up all on his own. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking Can't wait up. to see why we fight eventually. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. See, look at all that foreshadowing. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. Uh-oh. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. <laughs> As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Jade. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. 
I'll admit that. <coughs> I see YouTube what chat I'm is more very curious boring about, today. though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <laughs> what do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. Gee. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. Isn't he dying? I thought he had the harmony. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why Oh, it's you backstory, which is why his name is Kakabasha. Kakabasha. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I... I'm Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? <laughs> well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? What awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure? <clears throat> Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Huh? Lowly gambler. Still his voice. <laughs> what? What? Dreaming, or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. Forgotten me already. 
ready? When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the harmony. Mm. <laughs> the harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. A grand Who is this? You really think you can pull it off? Must be his subconscious. <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Hmm. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. That still doesn't make sense. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, mm -hmm. and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Just a Papeshi? No. A child? It's him! This is his Scrooge moment. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? It's his past! Uh, uh, what's wrong, mister? Ah! You don't look well. Ah! <laughs> Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungra. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. <sighs> Mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Q persona. I am Where's you and you are me. Together we are Persona. In park. Papa and Mama went in first. Oh just no! Have to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time too. Oh no. Those eyes. And Mama Funga. No, no, it it can't. There aren't any Aftons left. <clears throat> I started playing Persona 4 the other day. I like it. Papa, Mama, wait for me. <laughs> Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? Well, you've known all along. Family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to come. <clears throat> yeah, I started walls, at P4 Golden. <laughs> But I start games like all the time, so I don't know how committed I'll be. To the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg to 
anyone you come across for help. Damn. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. Mm. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. So you never know when you're gonna get paid again. Oh, well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. <laughs> Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on, tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. A tight, sober, cautious, massive inferiority, massive com inferiority complex. You want so much, and you're still so afraid of losing. People will do that, you know. They win a lot, or they're very successful, and then they get scared they to. They see your big bets, your bravado. They get scared to lose everything. Straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. Hmm. You wouldn't think that from his outward persona. Natural kid, you don't stop at fooling the audience, you fool yourself too. Mm. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course, I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. What does it mean to embrace elation? Oh, the path of elation. Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Both of us? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Catch up to the young Afghan baby. <clears throat> I know we've seen this before, but the shots prison palace is over. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Wasn't ruined. If 
always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. That child... Could he be in here? Okay. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Akron has changed the way I play in the overworld big time. Yeah. Worth it. Is this You need that a topaz? What is this doing here? <laughs> what does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, son? <sighs> I was merely curious at why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is Cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have helped right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Mm. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leave the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. Spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone oh. right out from under them. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. 
How? What? Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's his name? <laughs> Why are you even asking? Adventuring is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when he received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for Aventurine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Huh? Aventurine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. Where is it? As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. the adventurine stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoff's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? <clears throat> oh, thanks, Kramen. Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Diamond, Jade, Aventurine. Topaz. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare for yourself? come with a strong impulse for self-destruction. Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Uh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Guys, I say this with all due respect. That oh. conversation was so Three slow. I don't have a problem with it, but like, oh my goodness, it is slow. It's Hello. Like, we meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Please speak, not in riddles. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there, too. The four of us were just playing hide-and-seek. I 
I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall paint. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. I'm <laughs> sure. What? Click the flip button to dodge obstacles. That's so random. Okay. That is so jarring. How's that? It sounds like Not it's time story. to light the music. It's time to light the light. It's time to meet the Muppets at the Muppet Show tonight. Boring. It's time to light the music. It's time to light up my. It's time to meet the Muppets at the Muppet Show. The da 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 da. da. Muppet Show tonight. Oh my god, there's ten? Fast and Furry Nuts. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I don't need to play it, but I wanted to play it, because otherwise I'm, I'm going to take a nap. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. You think I'd learn to not eat before this stream? Sometimes they just talk, and it's like... You gotta be in the right mindset. Jades do I have now? Hold on one second. <clears throat> 
2,000. Oh, okay, so I always have room for 20 pulls. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. 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 Stream four. Clean of old plates. Yes. What's this do? Whoa, what's up there? Uh, let's see. Oh, I've already been here. Never mind. No, 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 no. Stream four. Gleam of old What's with the thunder? I just heard that for the first time. Yeesh. Oops. You don't hear the thunder? I do. It's time to play the music. It's time to la actually this is a really good What sequel mode I wonder? Target score 2000? Easy. Gee, gee, gee. Bing, 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 bing. Oh fuck! Okay, no. Bing, 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 bing. All right, all it does is give you jade. That's fine. I'll do it another time. Uh, okay. That helped me wake up a little bit, actually, so that was nice. <laughs> it's time to play the music. It's time to light the light. It's time to meet the Muppets at the Muppet Show tonight. Let me try this guy, actually. Uh. High stakes, high rewards. Oh, I forgot I'm playing a sin. That's good. Spend freely. No, Free will I memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Or maybe I'll take it all. Watch your head. <laughs> oh. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Relax. I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. Five thousand, four thousand. Mm, man, she's too strong. She's too strong. She's too strong. Oh, it's so much fun when this you actually get characters that about. you want to build that are enjoyable. It's time. So I'm so sorry about the Muppet song in my head. Oof. She dirty. Catch up, young Afghan. Okay. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all.
Seek, and you will find. How are you getting Acheron to do four... 400,000 in pure fiction? That's insane to me. Yeah, <clears throat> that'll take me a, probably a month or two. Stream four. Oops. The gleam of old blades. Damn. Thank you. I didn't realize that if uh, everybody would be so nice about my affiliate anniversary. <laughs> it's crazy. I can't believe it's a my dead end? anniversary. Oh, we still here. The wrong way. Yeah, she's E two with her <laughs> okay, S zero. Got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. <laughs> I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist. I have Bronya. For that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you. Shut up. I killed somebody. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tasas. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. I really need a whoa ho rerun. How could a weak person take such daring risks? But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Hmm. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Imagine if they did blow up Pentecost. That'd be crazy. You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for That's the affiliate cheap. wishes. Appreciate you. If these leaves can be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? the dream <sighs> your expression right now is hard to put into words the lucky charm on the left you is made from gold why did you never consider selling it you obviously could have lived a normal life like big sis that way 
Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. Well, why keep what? It's so weird when you keep things. You can me. zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears. Aventurine is Mwada Deep. You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. There we go. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran Mwada away Deep. without looking back, just as she told you to. He's Paul Atreides. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. I don't understand this dynamic. <laughs> this must not you really be him. Nuts. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> Well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there. Death. But whose exactly? <laughs> We'll know when the dice fall. It's also weird because he's like spending so much time talking to himself, even though right he's then. like dying. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never. Also, it feels like this is like a, a third person. It doesn't feel like it's a. If you could start over, but you still want to be the child who received Gaia's blessing. <sighs> He's not, ta it doesn't feel like he's talking to himself. It's very odd. It's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? <sighs> finally, made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. I mean, it could certainly be the harmony that's messing with him, of course. Who does the watchmaker set go best on? Is it Ron May? No, it's um. Do we do we have someone that it's perfect for? Brother 
what's been my favorite part so far? I would say the so far. Not today, Satan. Uh, my favorite part has been uh, fighting the battles. With this game especially, it's always that way. I really just, I love the combat of this game very much. The story is good. But it's really the moment to moment gameplay that I actually enjoy. There's only one place he can be going. The absolute Whether most. it's in the past, present, or future. I really like the aesthetic of the game right now. More so than the, the other parts of the game. What's sequel mode? Oh. Stream four. The gleam of old screens. I'd say my favorite part is Akron. What's up, Tsuki? Guys, we don't we don't need to keep talking about Fofo and chat like it's it'll be all right. I think we're I think we're good. High stakes, high rewards. Spend freely. Say bye to breathing. Destiny. <laughs> Relax. On the still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Mm, it's on me. May as well kill them all. Ill tidings manifest. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I, I really just. I, I love the aesthetic of the Stand game. Still. I love. Like how it like actually Say plays quite a bit. Um, it's just uh -huh. it's just a lot. It's just a lot of fun. Like just in general. The dice have been it's weird. Bust. It's just like fun to or play. Maybe I'll take it off. I really like leveling in the game. I um, I actually still prefer 2.0 personally. 2.1 got sort of overhyped for me, I think, because nothing has happened that has shocked me where people were like, oh my god, you gotta play 2.1. Like, it's not bad or anything, it's 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 still very good compared to Luofu and, and all that stuff, but I think 2.0 was really good. Sure, I'll play along. Like, really good. <laughs> Uh, but the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay is just really fun. This is what exploring the cosmos is all about. Pentacony is really fun to explore. Um, yeah, that's my personal opinion on on what I've played so far. <laughs> ah. We'll see where this peak goes. I don't know goes. why, Mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. Level five. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Simulated, simulated universe is probably my favorite mm. part of the game, to be honest. You're going back? Yes. I oh, this is home. pretty. 
The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Your home. Where is it? I like the trumpet here. What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. Also talking to his younger self and having this like purity and about this dream. it. The purity of his childhood and innocence. <sighs> it's like it's like if you were to like this see your child version of yourself. This it's very beautiful nice. Beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Mm. Where are they then? I don't know. Mm. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> Have not liked this dynamic very much. But with the child version, I've liked that quite a bit. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me. And him. Huh? Your past. And future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. Okay. <sighs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. You've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. Meaning, most people don't explore a certain path because that certain path is difficult to travel with. You've never gone in any other direction. You've never gone in a different... What the fuck does this mean? Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Your own life is the poker chip that you're most eager to play, so most eager to use. You don't care who the real murderer is. Okay. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy could be more boring. What you want... What you need is to be the smooth operator, oh, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat. You want to be he casual, relaxed. You want to always feel like you can get out of bad situations. Territory. You'll be the closing act. I can do it. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple, no? That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just have to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed. This isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. Oh. So that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. Diamond is after Patagonia. It's hard, isn't it? Hey, Whimsy. Thank you. Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Hey, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. 
Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before. But why you? Why? Must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love. On the loss of dozens more. If these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> Maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's best to die without regrets. <laughs> photo for me. I want a memento. Sure. Come on. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? See, what I look like too. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. I'm actually a... merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is... Much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. So I really like, um, I like this music a lot, and I also really like this section quite a bit. Um, I like, I, I personally, I, I really genuinely don't, uh, adventuring is fine. I, I'm not a big, I'm not a big adventuring uh, person. It's, it's cool. Like, he, nice character, but I, I don't, I don't have a, any particular affinity for adventuring personally. Um, but what I really like is 
<clears throat> what I really like is just the connection between uh, the, the child, the child elements and really like, like uh, time moves so quickly. So reckoning with your past and, and sort of looking after the part of you that that is still the child like that has that childlike wonder and and the childlike fear and things i really like that um that's really nice uh and it feels like genuinely um you know i think i feel like that's very uh, charming how gentle it is uh it's really cool um I am, I'm looking forward to ending this this arc. Um, Stream uh, But like, I, I'm much more interested. I'm much more interested in adventure or er, in Acheron and in um, and like Welts dynamic. Uh, that is more interesting to me, and like certainly like resolving the resolving the conflict here and like figuring out like what's going on with Robin and Sunday and and Firefly that that's actually the driving force uh for me to uh, for, for the game like uh, eventually and I can kind of take or leave like I don't know sorry hate to say that but um yeah it's cool it's nice it's whatever um but like Acheron is extremely interesting for me. Um, and I really like the whole Welt and and uh, an adventuring or an, an Acheron dynamics because because of their like parallel universe eternalism sort of connection, which is really cool. Um, the fact that we've seen these characters before, but now they're in a different universe. And uh, you know, I really like Sparkle too. I like the chaos that Sparkle brings. Um, do I like him more than I did in 2.1? Uh, yeah, I like that he's less smarmy. I, I didn't love the like smarmy this voice the grand stage. dialogue that constantly happened. Like all that, like mm -hmm. I didn't love that. Um, it's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? I really like I really Good like this show. dynamic with his younger self versus his older self and that emotional sort of arc. I really like that. Um, I can tell he's obviously an important character, but yeah, I don't really care about. I give Aventurine a a six out of ten for me. Acheron's like a nine out of ten. Uh, you still seem pretty nervous. The sto <laughs> well, yeah, because he's gonna go die. Let's um, put our palms together. If you receive Gaiathra's, I like blessing, some of this. Like I like, I really like the conversation with the kid. With the kid version, that's putting super our cool. Palms together this is corner, a easy, ritual. eight out of ten for me. By putting our palms together and reciting the Aventurine as a Fonga, character, six out of ten. Not that interested. If you're not familiar, I can. Sunday, you. eight out of ten. Way more interesting to me. This is me. It's all right. If you feel differently, that's. I know how to do. I, I, I'm happy for you. Good. That's fine. Of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The Catechins are coming. Why? The Catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afton will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, really nice Ostinato here, this sort of desperation. And take it's interesting how we want. can get desperation to appear in many different soundscapes and many different sound qualities. My thoughts on Sunday haven't changed just yet because I don't know what his role is in his sister's death. Time, so, I mean, to me... Men in black that descend from the skies to me, are on Sunday side. felt like wallpaper in 2.0, no and in 2.1, I feel, with, because arrogance. of the things that occurred with Venturing, Sunday feels much more like not your typical, uh, you know, 
bad guy. There's like a there's an edge to him. To each their own, Without I guess. Well, no, there's no I, the there's no I guess. Never that's, take that's the fact. That's how the we world works. not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But, but people will die, and you will be in danger. Mm -hmm. How is that good fortune? Akron is a six because she's a May, and I also feel like her story has already been done, and we all saw that. And the one items they released about Azuma and Pioneer Diver. Yeah, sure, totally. The Avgen always return their blood I can see why you debts. feel that way. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I mean, this is very I sad. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive as long as you are alive. The blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakafasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, oh, so which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Hmm. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjin, who were under the protection of the IPC resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? Oh, the screen, the screen <laughs> cleared. Okay, cool. Bye. That's peace. That's, that's really nice. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. Hmm, that's a nice, this is a nice little moment. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. Okay, maybe he's a 7 out of 10 for me, maybe not a 6 out of 10. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, 
It means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning, and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. What the fuck? I am the bone of my bat, Stelleron is my blood, my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. He's right! No matter what, we cannot ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the oh, IPC's intel. Reference. The path Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. I am the bone of my sword. Steel is my blood. I have created over a thousand blades, unknown to death, nor known to life. Have withstood pain to create many weapons, yet those hands will never hold anything. So as I pray, a limited blade works. Mmm, that's spicy, I like it. Merci! Or no, uh. Gefeliciter! Oh, that, that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, that's something. I, what? Oh! I did it! Yes! Yes! Great success! That was what I wanted. Poop. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. 
Stream four. Oops. The gleam of old blades. <laughs> I. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? Eh. It's just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. So about a thousand years ago. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the Thank you, anonymous gifter. If yes, the anonymous. odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you if my meager strength is required. Meager? I don't know about that. 58. Too bad I already know what this looks like. Here we go. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Oh wow, that's nice. Ladies, Astral Express, you're late. And this, unsung guest. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Myself. Every Give it up for Mr. Celeron! There's no one in the audience. Mommy, look! I'm on TV! We're not here for any pageantry. Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key to proving that the family's Three. death and does not exist in Train's promise is nothing but a sham! Robin and Firefly, who's the third? Three homicides? Oh, okay. That's right, madam. Oh. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. He 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 he. Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand death. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die, and it's all because of you. So that's not three homicides, you that's... Will become the personification that's four. Of death. What are you on about? <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Not especially. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny, tiny... Why would he want to do that when he's got Sparkle who literally said dynamite around the entire place? Reduced to a shattered dream. Then, before the family can even react, 
Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? I think Sparkle's button would work, yeah. She's crazy. Sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. Is he going to use the, uh... I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows. I can't wait to see one-tenth of his emulator power. The golden sand. I saw a thing today that showed Firefly in a, in a, a, a whirlwind of fire, and I was like, is this, did I just get spoiled on a YouTube video randomly? I'm curious to see what happens at the end of this fight that I've already known about for like two weeks. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Hmm? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. We actually sleep because we need... Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Okay. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or ground to... The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards? The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. How did he throw those? I'm was... putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, it the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death. Forever. Oh, it's an adventure. Adventuring. Oh. For the Emperor Lord. All right. Let's see who has the last laugh. Let the game begin. All right. We got ourselves some sexy sex. That's fine. <laughs> uh, Relax. Uh, May as well kill them all. <laughs> the seal of ill fate descends. It's like big band. Another journey begins in the still waters of oblivion. I guide the wandering soul. I weep for the departed. <laughs> Dust rain. It too shall fall. Let's look the answers in matters. All or nothing. Again, the ill tidings manifest. Memories are ever beneath the silent waters. Lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Memories are ever beneath the silent waters. Lies, Lies an endless, endless abyss! <laughs> that breathing sensation. Remember. This won't take long. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Mm -mm. Nice stank there. Receive. Oh. You're too good to me. Stand still. May as well kill them all. Break. You're so fucked. I weep for the departed. 
Dust rain. The two shall fall. Time to settle your account. Relax. The seal of ill fate descends. Damn. Allow me to see you all. Abyss flower, bloom. That which is seized must be repaid. That which is seized must be repaid. The dead will return. The threads of destiny aren't. <laughs> Stand still. Six stacks of arcana. Y'all. Yeah. Attack as many targets as possible to obtain a higher. Nine points. Good times. Time to say bye. I weep for the departed. Dust rain. It too shall fall. Curious to see if there's a, a phase two music. From the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering uh, soul. Pity. You chose the. <laughs> Relax. This would be good club music. <laughs> Here, all yours. Stand still. All right, that's phase one done. <laughs> Even on a losing streak, as long as people still have hope, they'll keep throwing money on the table. He got taller. The chance. His legs are longer. The potential is what you hang on to. That's what justifies the gamble. I weep for the departed. Dust rain. It too shall fall. Prepare for some hard work. Uh oh. Again, oh, I like this. Castanets. Another oh, journey begins. Dump. The still waters Dump. of oblivion. I guide the wandering souls. <laughs> this is nice. Relax. There you go. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. An ally who lost his game on their mark to it. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Good time. Heal yourself. Time to say bye. Memories are ever beneath the silent waters. Lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. Dust rain. It too shall fall. Break him. Nope. Huh. Stand still. Half the world Broken. is already in existence as fleeting as the dawn's do. Top. Destined for oblivion. Eternal but, sleep but, is not but, the but, dead. But, 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 will return. Oof, that's not good. Uh, da, 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 heal yourself. Oh, you healed Kafka? Are you, you selfish? That which is seized must be repaid. 
This flower. Nice. Bloom. I'm telling you, Luocha was the best thing I could have ever done this patch. And this is a good patch. Character-wise, this is a great patch. That breathing sensation. Remember. I like that we do the castanets in this moment of chill. Would you like to know the seal of ill fate descends? Relax. I weep for the departed. That was a waste. Oh yeah, the, the crowd's cheering. Dust spring. It too shall fall. That was a waste. It's all right. Pity, you chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> oh, you are so fucked, dude. <laughs> you are so screwed. Parted. Pop. Beep. Bull. Dust spring. Shot. It too shall Shink. Good time. Never left. Time to say bye. Ba 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 I don't know. I think Fantalia's music is, is still. <laughs> Fantalia's music is so good. I don't. I don't know that Fantalia's music can be topped for me. Personally, I think Fantalia's music is superior to this. Like this is good, but it doesn't go. It doesn't go anywhere. Like it, it's fine, it's 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 pleasant in context. Stand still. Eternal. Fantalia's music though, in context and for me out of context, return. it is like Fantalia is really good. Again, the ill tidings manifest. Shut, 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 shut. Still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering soul. Like when you fought Fantalia, you really felt like because she was an emanator, right? So like you really felt the depth of her like characterization and it's true you're right she is the final boss of of Lua F i mean who knows who the final boss is, of Penacani will be so that's not a fair that's not fair allow me to see you off actually it's pretty cool that we're getting a boss like this Relax. then because because Pocolia was the end end boss of the threads of destiny <laughs> what's it called Gorilla six Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. I really like the EDM qualities in here, though. Dust spring. And it's over. It too shall fall. Goodbye. 6,000. Woo! Down to the last player. So why can't I be happy to? Why can't I feel that free? Bop, 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 yada, da, ba, da, da. Damn, Himiko just, like, Always launched. Always your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last ship. Only by casting aside reason does one truly give. Bob, whoa. What? Damn. <laughs> Emanator, I know you'll match my wager, right? Oh. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentacon, what do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... That's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. 
Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. Mm. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Oh, kill him. <laughs> Time to die. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, yes. Kill him! Oh my god, yes! I Kill him! Yes! Yes! Kill him! Oh! Man, she is way cooler than adventuring. Kill him! Leading Pap! Kill him! Slice him in half! Whoa, fuck! Whoa! Oh, that's a cool cutscene. Holy shitballs. Jesus. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> Man, she's fucking incredible. I hope he's dead. Is he dead? He's dead. Is he dead? Wow. That was the coolest thing I've seen in, 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 a, in a MiHoYo video game. What is this place? Damn. Is uh, that a gigantic black hole. And see. Have I... Have I succeeded? Welcome to this sad world. She said Kaka. <laughs> Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Algin have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. As for us. We will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Nility, is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. I don't fully understand what that meant. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. 
A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier... ...and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penacone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these... conjectures... is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, 
I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die. I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said, sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. I shall get going. Mister? You're leaving? You ultimately chose to... leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa... Mama, and Big Sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamisha. And to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. 
for I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. And every sinking night, by every daring gamble, blah, 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 his life knows no, not quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another, till Meyer entrouds his very breath. And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on his earthly rest. Quietly. Peacefully. It at last landed. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Where is this? I think someone saved me. You're awake. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Just what's happening here? Uh crevice between dreams you've met me before i'm sam a stellaron hunter i originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you but i encountered more roadblocks than expected 11 times i've tried but ended in failure before i knew it this world and I became too intertwined. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. Uh, huh? 
Sam is Firefly. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. She staged her death. Firefly uh, is a stellar on Hunter. So funny, Sam is officer. Firefly. I hope that sense of humor <laughs> of yours has helped you find the serial killer. That's awesome. Just express my personal opinion. <laughs> Why? Did I hit uh, her Oh, because Mr. she Gallagher, can't use her body. Is wearing thin. So she Neglecting uses a machine to control her body. Will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk. And I know he drunk. killed Robin. Gallagher Hooligan. killed Robin. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Oh, okay, wait. Ridiculous. Wait, wait. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. I still think that Sunday killed had had her killed. I don't think he What exactly did. is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? Uh. <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Huh? Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. Not real, brother. <sighs> Since he's not the Halo Indeed. class. Every part of you is real. <clears throat> the brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. Huh? The orange eyes which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey, and the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, Gallagher bottle, and Risley have the exact the same color scheme. And your role as a security officer? These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, Countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Hmm? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> he didn't say Minion of Enigmata. <laughs> minion of Ign Enigmata. You have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretch. 
shit, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. Excuse me? Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. What the fuck? <laughs> so much for Sunday being the real bad guy. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> huh. Oh, the 13th tarot card is death. Huh. That's so interesting. You know what's funny is that, like... Oh, shit. Uh... I don't know which one to pick. So that's interesting. So so Gallagher is the bad guy, but what is Gallagher's angle, I wonder? Like, what's the purpose of Gallagher killing these people in the dream? Hmm. Very intriguing. Hmm. Enigmata's the... okay. That was interesting. That was really interesting. I really, uh... I really liked it. So, hold on. I, I have thoughts now. Hold on. Let me, let me process my thoughts. Hold on. So, like, I would say, I would say that I super appreciated where that went. What I've really liked about this story is um, that all of it's been good. I felt, I felt a little sleepy during this one, but that could have just been me being tired. Um, like, I, I really liked, I really liked, um... I really liked the ending. I really liked that 2.0 and 2.1 are like interconnected like this, where you need both in order to like properly function, you know? Um, it really is just making for a really good story. And for people that, you know, I, I do think that that's the, the quintessential like, someone someone named Muad'Dib. <laughs> so funny because I referenced Muad'Dib earlier in the stream. Um, I do think it fell into that pitfall of like Hoyo telling more than showing which i always get kind of annoyed with i felt i felt the whole aventurine like with his future self was kind of like i don't know i was sort of neutral on that whole experience i i didn't i personally and it's not even like i don't like dialogue i like dialogue but i like dialogue that i can like properly understand and that was sort of 
was sort of confusing to me and it was all like speaking in like code which i didn't love um that aside i, I felt that um i like the twist i like that i like that firefly was sam or well that firefly is a stellar on hunter and she uses like the the sam body in order to um you know get around because she does talk about how she's you know has a sickness and stuff um i really do like that gallagher is an interesting character that isn't just some like you know casual four star but like an actual like um you know an actual like character uh i really love the ending um i really love the dynamic with adventure i'm not i'm not fully clear on what happened there with uh with um uh, the uh black hole dimension and like eventually going back to the world of living because of the doctor ratio potion thing not really clear what's going on there um but i actually liked that arc for him quite a bit i felt like he finally felt absolved of stuff um um she's so fucking cool uh I figured that she left him in a limbo, but I'm trying to understand why she's capable of doing that. And who was she talking to there, you know? So, um, which was really cool. I'll go back to the boss. Um... I think I think Acheron's story is going to be really really multi Inventing multifaceted and, like and and immensely interesting personally. Oh god, I didn't mean to do this. There's murders? Okay, whatever. whatever. Um, I'll have to read the data <laughs> bank at one point. Um, but it was just a note that said you can't really die in the way we think in dreams, but you can become dormant or put in a coma instead, but he still needs to come back and wake up. I have a feeling that, well, in that case, so because Gallagher is killing Sunday and Robin in the dream, oh shit. Oh, that's super cool. Her affiliation changed? Self-annihilator. What? Interesting. Think of Panicunny as a bubble floating in a sea. Akron cut open a passage out of the bubble and eventually is out into the sea now. I see. Yeah, yeah. We're all kind of uh, floating around here. Hey, it's cool. It's, it's very cool. Um, there's a lot... Right, pulling the gaze of the aeons, which, yes, which is how we, isn't that how we became the flame version of our, uh, of our character? Which, cool. Who am I pulling for? Oh god, I'm pulling for everybody at this point. I'm pulling for Aventurine and I'm pulling for Jingliu, of course.
Well, everybody has a boss form because they're if, if they're part of the IPC. <clears throat> where's Fireflight? Or where's? Oh wait, that's um. Oh my god, I don't remember where that is. Is that up here? No, where is that? Uh... Dream Edge. Top of the sign. Mid left. Oh, yeah, right here. That's right. Oh, I could have just teleported. That's right. Dream four. Let's see, let's see. I mean, she definitely got stabbed. Hmm. But nothing's real when you, uh... Angry gear. <laughs> Ooh, nice sticker. I like the saddie. <laughs> Sad gear. Character selection. <clears throat> I don't want any of these. Mmm, Gwenife and Prowley. Mm. You're probably Gwenife and. What's my Gallagher at all? max her out I think I never know when good knife might come in handy yeah I'm gonna max her out Okay, so I have to do something to get that right. I thought they would just give it to me. Cosmodusi. Um, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. 
No, I know, I know. Alright, let's see. World 5. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, abundance finally. <laughs> We're just going to do a couple of simulated universe here. Tomorrow we get an event for three time awards. Oh my god. I'll probably just hold off then. Well, no, I'll. Stream four. It's just too easy now, actually. In some ways, it's too easy now. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Oh, not stellar jade. Storms on the horizon. I don't mind doing it. It's fun. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. <laughs> Get complacent. Stand still. Yeah, the story is pretty good, though. You know, it's fun. I, I like it quite a bit. I did just feel like there was a little too much talking for my personal taste, but but I but I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Dust ring. It too shall fall. Uh, no, Aventurine was not a 6 out of 10 anymore. I think Aventurine was more of, like, I really, I did like the arc at the end, especially. It's probably more like a 7.5. I still think the Acheron, as far as, like, characters are concerned, Acheron is, like, peak, peak for me, I think. Like, I like, I don't mind Aventurine. I do like that there's no like yeah. shitty characters. Relax. Like like all the characters that we've seen have not been like filler, which is really nice. So that's the one that's the trade off, right? I weep for the departed. The trade off is that well besides Misha, I guess. The trade off is that most characters uh, are well thought out and, and well done, you know. But it definitely felt like someone said it felt like an adventure in story quest, and I would absolutely agree that, that was what it felt like, which is okay. It's fine. That's fine. But I just I really like it. I really like Acheron as a character. I actually like the firefly like sort of twist there. It's kind of cool. It's cool. It's fine, whatever. Stream four. The gleam of old blades.
when is the patch for 2.2? Time to settle your accounts. <laughs> Stand still. Eternal sleep is the dead will return. This won't take long. Yeah, four weeks. What would you the seal of ill fate? Well, Genshin patch then. is first, right? Did you come existence as fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion? Time to stop. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited for some content Here, in uh all yours. for um, Genshin as well. I weep for the departed. I feel like Genshin's come under pretty intense scrutiny and Dust spring. It too shall fall. And I think it could really benefit from, from just a little bit of, of, of attention. I guide the wandering souls. Time to say bye. No, Aventurine's banner is in less than 20 days. You think that if the Arlequino banner, do, it, you think it, it, you think it's in a bad spot? I don't, I don't think so. It's always kind of weird during the in-between patches. The problem is, is that you have so much content in the other games that it's more likely to pull um, attention. Genshin's fine. I don't think Genshin's going anywhere. But you gotta remember that Withering Waves is coming out here soon, so Stream four. it's definitely gonna be an interesting uh Receive Yeah, I'm excited for Withering Waves too. Still. I feel like they were probably thinking that Genshin would be the same as it's always been, you know. But, but times change, and you have to evolve with the. You have to evolve with your. That which is you know, seized must be repaid. You have to evolve with, with what you have. Again, the ill and if you if you don't manifest. change, it's because I mean, like, look at how fast. I mean, Honkai Star is at such a good spot right now. Dust ring, it too shall fall. It's true, it's sad that PGR is kind of getting left behind in a way. I mean, it's not. There's so much, pa there's so many patches still and like a lot of great characters. And but it, it's too bad that they're not including the world of. Time to say bye. Of uh, PGR since it's, it's such a good game. Like it's too bad they're not incorporating the old characters. Huh. Relax. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> In the still waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. I weep for the departed. Dust ring. Genshin's doing completely fine monetarily. <laughs> Am I free to play? No. Not at all. Stand still. I mean, your average person who's playing these games, who's not on, who's not like super invested in them, is just playing them as they play them, you know. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if Wuba coming out has some sort of 
have some sort of like change the for it. Will return. I'm still a little upset that they added a 50-50. I know that it's a bigger a bigger game for them, but it's a bummer for me personally. I really like PGR's model. I, I've spent money on PGR happily. Time to say bye. But I've spent money on this game happily. I weep for the departed. Dusk's ring. It too shall fall. Where are you going? Stand still. <laughs> it's my money spending the game. Yeah, of course. I only spend on games that I like. Receive divinity. That which is seized must be repaid. Yeah, the weapon banner is much better. Do I plan on trying out Swarm Disaster or Golden Relax. Years? No. I'm on a, it's on accident. Thank you for telling me. For I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to be slow. Dust rain. It too shall fall. I'm so sorry. I meant to double speed that. That whole time. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's E2. Blue cheese. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's nice that the banners will be guaranteed pulls or whatever it is. I think that that's, that's, that's at least like, you know, Stream four. it's, it's, it's so incredible when you consider like how much, how much you have to spend on some of these games. Yeah, no, tomorrow's 300% drop. I'll be playing tomorrow. Not on stream, but I'll be playing tomorrow. You said that um, that the quests in the quests in um, Penaconi are actually good because man, I did not enjoy what I was doing yet this weekend. Storms on the horizon. Oh fuck! Okay, here we go. Let's see. She really fucked me up last time. How familiar. The blue quests. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Feeling a little dizzy? Pity, you chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Stand still. That breathing sensation. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to look like if I auto. The How bad will it be, you think? Again, the ill fighting men beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. The dead return. Let me auto and see what happens. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I, um, I just really enjoyed. I just really enjoyed Monkey Star Row quite a bit. It reminds me. It reminds me a lot of like old school RPGs, which really Nothing makes matters. me happy. Like old JRPGs. So I think for me, it's been. It's been received divinity. It's been really fun. Um, See you later. There are certain things story wise that I sort of get a little bit whatever about, which it may seem like I don't care about it. I actually do. Um, like I find the story pretty intriguing, and there's a lot of. The There's a lot of components that I want to like spend some time on covering on my own. Um, but it's just like it's just fun, and like I want to make a video about it, but I'm not even sure what I would say besides it's really fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? I weep for the departed. Will you continue to stream Honkai Star Up? That's the main story. Um, it depends on if there's interest, to be honest with you, because I really am. Um, 
stand still. I, I don't tend to the stream games that I just uh, like, I do just do, like, miscellaneous <laughs> grinding in, but I guess that's also like I weep for the why people stream these games. Uh, it's why I didn't it continue did to stream. Fall. Thank you. It's why I didn't stream uh, uh, Warframe after I beat the story or caught up to the story. So. Take a guess. I like Conquest Star Rail and I play it pretty much every day, so I mean I, I could easily stream Time to it. Say bye. Um but Boom. But this week uh, <laughs> on Thursday we're having Stand a try not to laugh challenge. Um, the dead return. which may or may not actually make me laugh. And then next week I'm gonna be playing on my PlayStation 2 uh, Ace Combat heart. Zero. Uh, which is a classic game that I've never played before. So, as you know, being a variety streamer, a variety gamer person, uh, music person, it's hard to find one game uh, to only play. So it, it's a little bit tricky because the Honkai Star Rail fan base has been really kind to me, as has the Genshin uh, fan base. Um, so, like, I know that I have a home with with that community, and, and it's certainly a bucket of content that I really enjoy making videos for. So, um, time to say yeah. bye. Boom. Again. Watch your feet. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. So, I mean, if there's interest, I don't mind, like, later. just doing random stuff. But the problem is the way that I... I'm not going to win this. Who will it be? The way that I... The way that I play the side quest is pretty fast, so I'm not sure if it would be entertaining, to be honest with you. Because I just kind of play them and just do them. I weep for the departed. I'm not like sitting there, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get really stuck into the story for so. Oh man, I feel like I'm so close, but there's just no way that I'm gonna do it. All right, so she's down. Final phase. Mm. Take a guess again. I weep for the departed. Oh wait. Oh, no, oh my god. It too shall fall. Wait, this could actually happen. That's too soon to happen. The dead return! That did really well. Still waters of oblivion. No. This is gonna work out. Just for oblivion. Don't be scared. Oh shit! That's it. That's over. Again. That's See you later. I cannot okay, come to again. pass. Zoning out. Again. I can help. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll just have to keep doing that abundance. Oh, that hurts. That sucks. Okay. World five isn't giving me a little bit of problems. Yeah, Kafka's kind of tough. Kafka is kind of hard. Also, just visually, it's such a fun game. Yeah, and I wasn't really paying attention to my buffs. My buffs I want to read that later. So I think I have enough for a ten pull at least. I mean, it only gets harder, right? Hurt to store. I think I bought stuff here last time. Yeah, I bought on the fall of an Aeon. What I, who did I use that on? I used it on somebody. I can't remember off the top of my head. Who did I use that on? Somebody. For Jinglio, that's that's what's for. That's right. I was prepping for Jinglio. Thank you. Uh, Three thousand. Okay. I've been slowly trying to build up some. Um, seven days. Okay. I have seven days. All right. I should be able to get at least two ten pulls before I have to use the old. 
the old wallet. Oh no, and I have 18, okay. And I have stuff there too, so that's good, okay. Not a ton though. They're also sending jades in the mail for a 10 pull. Oh nice, okay, cool. All right, chat, I'm gonna hop off. Um, I hope you had a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I hope I wasn't too divisive there with my comments about Aventurine, but I'm trying to be honest and, and candid. That's part of the reason why you come, I would assume. If you just wanted somebody to agree with you, well, not sure that's me. But I had a great time. I hope you had an awesome time. This haven um, of memories. I had a very good time. That was every a really touch, nice, really nice one. Every moment is um, like a thorned rose. I'll talk to all of you later, okay? Bye.